finish this week, we're going to do some orienteering. This will allow children to explore around their homes and achieve goals and puzzles whilst they do it. There's a few ways that you can go about this and we're going to show you just a few. So pay attention and take the ideas and use them where you wish. We're going to put these five milk bottles around the house. We're going to write letters on them and these letters in turn will help spell out a word. So it's up to you where you put these in your house. Once you have done this you can then make a map and some instructions for your children to follow. We've got our map and our instructions. Make sure that these instructions are early years friendly, describing places that children will understand where to go, such as a place in a kitchen that will be cold, meaning the fridge. So once you've done this, place your bottles in the places that you've described in your instructions, then you can begin. Our first instruction of our orienteering is a room in which you watch TV under something next to somewhere you'd sit to watch TV. Now, I'm thinking the lounge. Under something, possibly a table, next to a seat. Let's go and have a look. Let's search for this first clue. In the lounge, can't see it by these sofas, not under this table. Oh, but what about this one? The first letter. It's a P. Action. Our second instruction is in a room where food is prepared next to something that is cold. Now, a room where food is prepared, I'm saying kitchen, somewhere cold. The fridge. So, we're in the kitchen next to something cold. Not in the fridge. Oh, here we are. It's an O. Let's write that on our map. The third clue is in a place that is the bottom of something we climb. Now, what could be in someone's house that we climb? The stairs. So, let's have a look. We thought the stairs. Have a look. There it is. It's a P. Clue number four, a small room in which we wash our hands. A cloak room. Let's go and have a look. Let's start the search for the fourth clue. We thought that the cloak room, we found it on the floor. It's a Y. The final clue, a place to store an item of clothing that always touches the floor. Our shoes. Maybe a shoe cupboard? Let's go and see if we can get the final answer. Let's start a look for the final clue. This is the shoe cupboard. No, not in there. I found the final clue, a P. Now we've found all the letters, can you find the missing word? If you can, drop it in the comments and we'll see if you're right. I hope you've enjoyed this week's activities. Stay tuned with more Early Years activities coming up next week. Mm -hmm.